Okay, this might sound a bit early for me to be asking, but I'm always a couple of parts ahead of YouTube when it comes to working on the scooter. But the scooter's gonna need a paint job pretty soon, and I want y'all to decide the theme. So I've made a YouTube poll that you can click on right now, and also a Twitter poll that you can find in the description. Back to the regular scheduled programming. In the last video, I ran into some powertrain issues. We'll focus on fixing them first. Okay, so I'm gonna go over some of the strange issues I've been having with the battery and some odd behaviors. So if I come over here, I pick up the throttle, we turn the key, all the lights are green. Everything's green, signaling a full charge um, or near full charge. But the instant I try to twist the throttle, it just kind of dies. So I'll, I'll demonstrate that real quick. Complete battery cutoff, it's, it's dead. According to this, it's dead. I can't flick this. But if I take out the keys first, um, and then I come over here and I try to unplug it and then plug it back in. You'll see it pop. Yep. And then we can, we can rinse and repeat. So that's been the issue. Now, usually I can get it just a tiny bit of throttle and it'll stay going just for a little bit. So it can go like this the entire way. But if I give it too much, as you can see, it's starting to blink. And there, it's done. Okay, so here I'm about to check the battery voltage. As you can see, it's doing pretty good. It's 48.7, that's right around nominal. This doesn't explain why under load, it drops to zero. So this is kind of confusing because it means that the BMS is actually doing its job. However, it does not actually take a charge at all. So this is the controller, it's pretty cheap, it's the one I got for this build. And if we go ahead and plug this in, you'll probably see or hear a spark. There we go, yeah, that was, uh, that was quite the spark, almost scary enough for me to not want to plug it in again. So my hunch was that when I plugged in the charger for the first time and I heard a couple of pops, I thought that it had fried the BMS. And I think that's what's causing a lot of these issues, but... I don't really know for sure, so I'm gonna have to run some tests. I tried checking the battery's voltage and making a spreadsheet of each parallel group. It turns out that parallel group 4 had an abnormally low voltage of 3.05 volts. The data sheet for the BMS states that it's got an over discharge voltage cutoff at 3.0 volts. It now made sense why the power was getting cut under very minimal load. I didn't know if it was the BMS's or the charger's fault for not charging the battery, so I decided to check the output voltage of the charger. It turns out it was outputting a voltage that was well below its rating. Perhaps it broke? The BMS has a charge voltage of 54.6 volts, so now it made sense why it wasn't allowing the battery to juice up. Alright, so I just got some packages in the mail. So these are female XLR connectors. Uh, you'll see why we need these in just a bit. Let's go ahead and unbox this. And here we are, moment of truth. There it is. This is a 54.6 volt uh, charger. So here's the current battery connection. And I'll re be replacing this with the uh, female XLR. The new charger worked the first time I plugged it in. All of the battery cells were very close in voltage. Off camera, I rode on my own and managed to get four and a half miles of range with a max speed of 24 miles an hour. I still couldn't get the full power out of the motor and the power frequently cut out when under load. After my ride, I measured the voltages of the parallel groups and noticed that the parallel group four, again, had an unusually low voltage. This made it clear that the batteries in the fourth parallel were defective and that I'll need to replace them if I want to fix a problem with the power cutting out. My friends gave the scooter a ride, which was a good stress test. Ease into the throttle. Is the tire supposed to be kind of... You just pull it back. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna flop. Boom. Pull your right hand back. Not good. <laughs> the chassis held up okay, but the back wheel could use some more support. Well, is this supposed to be the back tires? No, it's yeah, it's by design. It's <laughs> the throttle takes some getting used to. It's it's just really easy to turn too quick and have the power cut out completely. Dude, I don't know what I'm doing. It's broken, Kale. Green wire. Unplug it. Take it back in. Unplug it. Kale, help me. <laughs> 
I'm pretty proud of this scooter, but there's still a lot of work to do. I'll be addressing the chassis issue in the next video, so stay tuned. For now, enjoy some clips of my friend Sam ripping it on the scooter. Are you sitting down? No, I didn't sit down. No, if you sit down, you've got, easier. yeah, no. it'll turn much well, easier. Because I was like, I was like turning, I was like, oh crap, oh crap. These are warm. These are warm, dude. He was ripping. 